Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again, and then, um, let me go ahead and intro this real quick. Uh, this is gonna be Ten of Swords. You were once far, but now you are close. Um, this is gonna be a combination between Electronica and Dungeon Synth. Um, and like yesterday, this one here wasn't my first choice. Um, I've actually gone, I actually went through several different albums that actually would have been a better fit for this cast, but, uh, they were all copyrighted. So, I've been having some bad luck with the copyrights lately. So, anyway, but uh, out of all that, this is, uh, this is one that, uh, that was actually free to use. So, this is one I'm going to have to go with. So, let me go ahead and rewind it back. So... And already right off the bat, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh well. But anyway, um, I do have a fair amount to talk about. So I guess we'll we'll go ahead and start with, um, with last night. Or I should say yesterday. Right after I finished my cast, um, I was going to play test. I was going to play test it just to see how it sounds and stuff like I usually do. Um, and... This time around, I think it was due to, at the very beginning of the video, I had a bunch of fireworks going, like so a whole lot of animation at once. Uh, well, apparently it was too much for my computer. Um, and this time around, it was actually worse, because most of the time when something like this happens, my computer just restarts, like immediately. But this time around, um, the screen went black, uh, the screen went black with no sound. Then there was sound. Then the sound cut out. Then the sound came back on again. And then, um, st still having a black screen. And then all of a sudden, a whole bunch of green crap appeared right on the screen. Like, uh, I guess, uh, green and white. Maybe a few other colors thrown in there too. But uh, just a big old, big old clusterfuck of, uh, of green stuff. That came on for about a second or two, and then after that, I, for the first time ever, I got the blue screen of death. So, so, per, so yeah, first, first time I ever got that. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll worry about it later. But yeah, so got that for the first time. So from there on after, I didn't really do a whole lot. Uh, just maybe watch some YouTube or whatever. But yeah, I got a little, little scared and frustrated after that. So, so fast forward to earlier this afternoon. Um, got up, tried to start putting my stream together. Um, one thing I like to do is, uh, I like to have music. Typically music that I downloaded from YouTube. I like to have that running in the background while I'm, you know... I'm getting, you know, I'm cooking my food, I'm checking emails and other browser stuff, etc., etc. So, I, same thing today, uh, I fired up a, fired up an album and, oh, not once but twice. I ended up with another blue screen of death. Same process too. Black screen and then sound, you know, sound coming in and out and then, again, more green shit on the screen and then BSOD. So... And, um, I'm trying to think. And, uh, at some point during the stream, I did mention this. No, wait, wait, wait. Okay, this is, this is gonna be kind of, this, this part here is gonna kind of be done out of order. But, since I'm here, um, after I did my pinball stream, um, I decided it, it, it kind of, kind of a brain, got a brainstorm. Um, what I went ahead and did is instead of, uh, instead of looking at my video or firing up another, uh, another album with, uh, with, with my usual Windows 10 movie viewer or whatever it's called, I actually decided to fire up Windows Media Player instead. Uh, this seemed to cure the problem. Because, um, I know what one problem I had. One problem I had, um, 
in life. Some odd, some odd years ago, when I was streaming uh, Path of Exile, um, for a time, like, when, um, when making my images and editing them and stuff like that, I would use the... It was called Photos, I think. But it's like the... It's like, again, it's like the Windows 10 photo editor or something like that. I don't know, I don't know the exact name. But it's pretty... It's ass. I mean, you're I was better off just using the old-fashioned MS Paint. It's a lot more effective than the, uh, the... Again, I don't know the actual name of it. I just call it Windows 10. Or Windows 10 photo editor. But... Yeah, but I only used it briefly. Again, I got sick of using it and just went back to paint. So, when um, when watching my videos, same thing. I was using the Windows 10 movie viewer or movie and TV viewer or something like that. I can't remember the exact name. But it was using this that was actually... The, no, it was the... Especially the full screen version. Because uh, one of the things I had to start doing recently is the very moment the video came on, I had to hit, ex I had to repeatedly hit escape, just real quick, just to get it out of full screen. Because that triggers it immediately. That triggers it almost immediately. Um, last night, last night I wasn't quick enough to get it out of full screen and get into windowed mode, and it ended up triggering the triggering the BSOD. Um, same thing today, but the thing, the thing, um. The thing today, though, is when I fired up uh, an album, technically, it's a video. The, the, mu the music album that I'm playing, it's a, technically a video, but the thumbnail, the album cover, is just a still image. So, so but again, um, okay, that's what it was. Um, I fired up the album, Hit escape, got it out of full screen, um, went to another window, did something, came back to that video window, and then it triggered the, uh, the blacking, uh, triggered the blackout and then the, uh, the BSOD. So, so apparently it doesn't have to be in, it doesn't have to be in full screen in order to trigger it. So, so I, again, I, I did a bit of brainstorming and I gotta look at something real quick. Okay, still gone. Just the end of the, the end of the first track. I thought uh, YouTube froze up. So what I decided to go ahead and do instead is just um, open the video with Windows Media Player. It's something that I hadn't used in probably years. Uh, but but yeah, like I said, just went ahead and fired it up, and it works. Um, and I think the full screen on Windows Media Player isn't actual full screen. It's, it's full, it, full screen to fit everything except my taskbar. My taskbar is still in there. And I think the, uh, the, the very top border, you know, where in the upper right, you know, upper left corner, it's got the name of the program and all that and whatever file you have opened upper right corner, you know, you can. You can close the program, you can, you can, you can minimize it, you can restore, or restore the window, or, you know, that kind of thing. You know, you know, you know what I'm talking about, the, the upper blue border. So that, it, so Windows Media Player has that kind of full screen. So, but like, like I said, like I said, um, at least the videos that I tested out worked. They didn't trigger it, and um, an, and another special added bonus: the sounds actually hell of a lot better. Like right when I fired it up, fired up the video, I'm like, "Oh shit, this is loud! Whoa, 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 whoa!" I had to like, had to like turn, had to like turn the volume down and stuff, cause uh, I had it up uh, up at my normal level. But yeah, fired up the video and it just loud as hell. I had to turn it, had to turn it all down and stuff. And uh, the sound quality is actually better on Windows Media Player than it is on the Windows 10 Movie Viewer. So, that was a bit of a surprise. I mean, 
I mean, hell. I still got um, I still got a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of old albums that I've been um, I've been burning off CDs or downloading off Napster and I think Amazon Music was another one. I I still got some of the albums on Windows Media Player. So so and the chances are I I might actually take that up again. But yeah, it's but it, it it is frustrating though. Um, I'm glad I kind of found a workaround for it. But again, this is because ultimately, ult, I mean, I have to basically, basically, and ultimately, I basically have to get another computer. But I can't afford one for the for the one that I put together on Newegg. It the total came up to about fifteen hundred dollars. So kind of out of my price range especially now my lifestyle is not it's not sustainable I mean inflation bills piling you know bills getting bigger and bigger and plus I'm working part-time so I'm basically operating at a loss so I really can't afford to get another computer and and, and in case any and, and in case anyone asks whoa isn't there a cheap one you can get? I would rather pay, because I would rather, no, I don't, my answer would be no. I would rather pay $1,500 for a good computer than to pay $500 or $1,000 for one that's no better than the one I got now. And in fact, I think I said this during my, during my stream. I mean, I, right now I'd rather just shell out top dollar for a good computer Rather than just pay, you know, five, five hundred or a thousand bucks, you know, again for something that, at least statistically, is no better than the one I got right now. Um, another question that was put to me is, why don't you just replace the graphics card? Um, thought about it, but at the price ranges that I'm looking at, they're about the same that I would have paid for the graphics card that I got now. Oh, for those that don't know, the beginning of the end of all this was when I bought a new graphics card for my computer. It's It doesn't play nice with my motherboard and or power supply. So that's why I get the uh, computer restarts and stuff. Because uh, my computer, I come to find out, was basically non-upgradable. All the components were in, that were installed on it are just barely sufficient to support each other. They, like, it's a computer that didn't build for the future. So, there, and but there's still going to be that day of reckoning that's going to come where I'm going to have to make a decision because as it is right now, too many of my games are crashing right now due to graphics card and or driver issues. So, but enough on that right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. But again, um, this music, it's a little too rambunctious, for lack of a better word, for for what I'm wanting to do with these cast videos. I mean, I kind of like them fairly laid back. But once again, um, this is the only album I could find today that was uh, that was free to use. All the other albums I was looking for, all, all the other albums that I was wanting to play were all copyrighted. Necessity is a strange bedfellow. But anyway, uh, let's let's just go ahead and talk about my stream. Um, for the most part, it was a rinse and repeat of yesterday. Uh, FX3 crashes, typical. Um, Pinball Arcade, the DX11 version, also crashes, typical. So that left uh, the DX9 version, uh, which again... Fame. Oh, and I need to rewind back a little bit. Um, I don't, I can't remember if I said this yesterday, but today, um, I took the uh, part. I, I fixed part of the issue with DX9. The answer was staring at me right in the face. Uh, when you, 
try to fire up the game on Steam, one of the options is regular Pinball Arcade, slash, or IE, DX9, the DX11 version, and there's also a configuration utility. Um, I went ahead and gave that a go, and I had a bunch of options for DX9, which I did. I basically switched it from, from full screen to windowed mode. And, um, which, okay, got it out of full screen. Now it's a lot easier to work with. And on top of that, um, it's sort of kind of resizable. So, I, you can't, you can't manually adjust the exact screen size like I wanted it to, but I don't, I think, uh, when you first launch it, the, the, the window is like in the upper left corner, but all I had to do was pull down on the bottom part of the uh, window a little bit, and then I, the, um, it shows the top border. All I had to do was click full screen, and like, uh, like Windows Media Player, it's got the good kind of full screen where it still shows the upper border, but the bottom border matches up with the task with my taskbar. That's what I was trying to say about Windows Media Player. So, like I said, the bottom border stops at my taskbar, which is exactly how how I want it. So, so that that problem got solved. So. And it's no longer full screen, so I can I can just hop between windows freely at will. I don't have to sit and wait on the uh, the the transitional black screens, each one running a risk of uh, my computer restarting. So so that problem got solved. Um, there's still the issue of the the darkened ball. That's, I guess that's what I'm going to call it right now. I can't think of anything else, but where the ball's, the ball's just not shiny. It just isn't shiny enough. I can't hardly see it. I said this yesterday, and I've probably been saying this about all the other other times I've been forced to use the DX9 version. You can't brighten the ball, so it makes it very hard to, very hard for me to track. So, so if any, you know, if any of you guys can sit, if any of you guys have watched my streams, and consider, well, I ain't got no problems at all tracking the ball. What power are you, bud? I mean, I mean, I, I have a hard time, you know, following it. I mean, bear in mind, you know, bear in mind, too, I'm actively playing pinball. So, I mean, everybody else is just simply watching it. And it's, it's especially bad when the ball is traveling really fast. And there's, hell, there's times where, uh, I've actually, uh, I've actually lost a few balls because it, the ball literally went right by me. I didn't even, I didn't even know where it was. There, hell, there were times where, uh, I'm still looking for the ball and then all of a sudden the end of ball bonus pops up. Oops. Oh, yeah, it just went right by me. So... So yeah, but like yesterday, it was a combination of DX9, Pinball Arcade, and then when eventually I got tired of uh, constantly having to hunt down the ball, I switched over to Zachariah, where the tail, where it's, it's no big secret, prop, you know, you guys know the drill, they're basically pachinko machines with flippers, but on the upside, well, at least I can see the damn ball, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another drink here. So, but otherwise, um, but I, believe it or not, the, uh, yeah, the whole, the stream as a whole, it actually went pretty good. Um, Pinball Arcade went pretty good. I, I didn't beat any high scores, but I broke the top five in a, probably a fair amount of them. I'd say probably, I want to say three or four of them. So, surprisingly, it was a pretty good performance. I mean, Zachariah is Zachariah. I think there was a... I, I just remembered there was one table. I can't remember which one it was, but... I actually placed in the top 10. Top 10 high scores on this one table. Still can't remember which one it was, but I was in the 1% leaderboards. Like I said, I was number 8. I was within the top 10. 
I wish I knew which table it was, but yeah. The, but um, also, Zachariah, it kind of has its own leaderboards. Um, it's a... The, the score, for lack of a better word, is actually a percentage number. Like if it, if it says 20%, that means you were in the top 20% of, of all the high scores. The top 20% in the leaderboards. So that actually makes it very easy, a lot easier for me to read. And I think uh, Pinball Apex 3 should do that. Instead of saying you rank 7,395th place, just give me a percentage number, like 99th, you know, something like that. It's a hell of a lot easier to read, but that is one thing that Zachariah got right. So, and I wish I'd have remembered this sooner, otherwise I'd have been saying it back then. But yeah, that they do the rankings. Don't they do a good job with the rankings? I could just read. I could just read a percentage number and see how well I did. So, but like, but yeah, there was that one table, rank number eight in the top one percent. Um, but, and I think all the rest of them. And like yesterday, just like yesterday, um, towards the tail end of my session, I started sucking horribly. Part of it from my end, but part of it just from, uh, from the uh, table seemingly have mag having magnets on the bottom and the sides. It's like, like I said, the pachinko machines with flippers, and towards the end of the session, more, you know, even more so. Like, the balls literally were going from plunger straight to the drain. Maybe spend a little bit of time on the bumpers or something, but then, pew, down the drain. So, but like I said, tail end of the session, less of an issue. So, uh, but aside from that, after the stream, Mostly, it was just being a couch potato. Just sitting around watching YouTube stuff. Um, I played a little bit of Idle Champs. Uh, maybe about 15 or so minutes. Uh, called it good on that. Um, Gems of War, I hadn't played it, but uh, sometime after the stream, or sometime after this video, I probably will. Same with uh, Capcom Fighting Collection. I might might play a little bit of it having gotten lucky yesterday and it not crashing on me so uh, but otherwise uh, that's gonna do it yeah that's gonna do it for me I've said all the things that I wanted to say this morning so just gonna go ahead and get this all spruced up and uploaded and processed and all that other good stuff and wish me luck so oh and um and this is gonna be my last cast for the week so Wednesday Thursday and Friday that's my work week so um you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning so but otherwise hey thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me though everybody I appreciate that I always do and um, I'll see you all on Sunday morning. But until then, take care and I'll see you all next time.